Hi, this is Maciek from DCX, and uh, I want to show you how to configure properly your enclosure using most popular S19 market. There are a few components which we use to properly regulate the flow inside of the enclosure. And we deliver that with that enclosure. So let's imagine there is a lid. Normally there will be lid and we suggest using the lid for the normal daily operation. And we have a few components at the uh, bottom. So this is the universal uh, flow director plate. So that plate, uh, yeah, it's, all, it's all hardware. So as you can see, pretty thick cut. So the reason we use that plate is to configure the flow only through the minus which you actually operate. So we want to force the flow through the minus and not around the minus. If you put the minus, you know, in, inside of the enclosure, just, you know, one in the middle or three in the middle, it will not do much because most of the you know, flow will go around the minus. So we are using that plate to cover the area around the O minus. And you can actually, you know, wiggle it and remove part of it, cut part of it and just leave enough to cover the area around the O minus. That's pretty important, right? So this is, this is how you configure the flow inside of the enclosure. We have also the uh, plates which are specialized and dedicated exactly for the purpose. So for the uh, for the special minor uh, types, and we'll show the special plate for the S19 minus later. One more component inside of the enclosure. There is a simple grid which we use, and that grid allows the uh, to disperse the fluid below the minus. So the fluid goes below the minus and those elements, these are supporting, but also these are breaking the flow, but without using any uh, additional pipes, manifolds or any other elements at the bottom, which would, uh, you know, constrain the flow, which will uh, raise the pressure drop. We don't want that, right? So we're having the lower area and we are, we are using special grid, which allows us to saturate the area around uh, uh, in the whole enclosure, right? So all the miners are pro properly saturated. So how to place the miners inside of the enclosure if we are talking about the S19s? So it's pretty unusual, but it's effective. So as you can see, we have the pretty unusual position. We know that it may be unusual. You can position those miners in the different configuration, but this is the one which we, which we checked as most effective. It allows you for the best saturation of the hash bars inside of the of the minus. So imagine you have the flow which goes into the middle of the enclosure. So it, so at the bottom, obviously. So it goes here below the minus, and then it hits different deflectors on the grid at the bottom, and then it is it is you know dispersed evenly on the different areas of the enclosure, right? And uh, then there are openings at the bottom through which the fluid goes directly through the hash boards. And, you know, we try to keep them that way. So the flow goes only through those, you know, areas where the hash boards are. And uh, uh, we found using CFD, so Computational Fluid Dynamic Simulations, uh, that uh, we saturated that the best, in the best way if the miners are positioned in that area. So the, all the hash boards are as much, you know, close to the inlet part. So we have the most, uh, the best speed, so the most turbulent flow uh, going through all those hash boards. So as you can see, uh, looking from my left and your right, so, you know, looking from the front of the enclosure, that will be uh, two minus on the left, my left side, which are configured with the ports, connection ports facing up. Uh, and on my right and your left uh, would be two minus with the connection ports power connections facing downwards and on the on that side in opposite so on my right and uh, your left two minus with the power connectors facing facing up and that one and that one and on the other side facing downwards this is the best setup you can get all the other areas around those minus are fully closed so no flow going around your, your minus you know here in the in the walls and this is what, what provides you the best saturation there is. Please remember when you will be configuring your, your, your systems, please remember about those small hooks here. So we put them here and here and here and there just to make sure that you can, you know, route all the power cabling on the sides of the enclosure. So don't, uh, please don't let, you know, those ca power cables or Ethernet cables, you know, lying on top of the miners, you know, getting the most heated, heated fluid. Just, you know, 
put it straight here and then just evacuate into the back of the enclosure uh, if that suits you or you can you know route them also in the front that element in the front is removable so you can you know just wiggle it out remove that and just route all the cabling to the front if you like and then just close the uh, the um, delete uh, in the uh, will not immersing that minus right now because those are going to customers so we leave that ple uh, that pleasure for the customer but i will show you later how to configure the uh, uh, the fluid level inside of the enclosure so after you properly configure the enclosure with the minor stack you need to fill the system with the dielectric fluid the only thing which goes into the enclosure is the dielectric fluid thermosafe r which we uh, which we deliver this is the only thing which which uh, which we use for the heat exchange inside so the fluid circulates and you need to fill the system to the proper level we are shipping uh, 10 containers with the 25 liters of the dielectric fluid as a standard with our single enclosure bundle and so what you need to do after you place all your miners inside you can fill the enclosure with the fluid and uh, uh, you can see here we have the divider uh, plate which separates the main compartment of the enclosure from the outlet area of the enclo enclosure so uh, you, we want the fluid to be on the level well approximately one inch uh, above the uh, above the minor level and that plate can be known uh, can be if you have high, if you have uh, the miners which are not so high or not so long in the normal position as the S19J Pros, you can you know remove part of that plate so uh, so you don't you don't have to feel so much liquid inside. Now the dielectric fluid must barely overflow that divider plate. So the fluid level should be approximately one millimeter over the uh, over that plate. So it should fall on the other other side so creating kind of nice waterfall and you will clearly see this the circulation in the in the system there is a outlet from the enclosure and the the whole fluid will go go in that that area and then it will be you know pushed through the heat exchanger and then pumped back at the bottom of the enclosure so this is the correct fluid level just make sure you have a few centimeters above the uh, above the miners you can configure that plate if you want make sure that the fluid just barely overflows that part and not goes you know uh, higher than this so this is proper fluid level inside of the enclosure